Hey guys, Rob here again at Backyard Sidekick, and in this video, we want to review lawn darts. Now, we were talking about this the other day, and my wife brought up, hey, you remember lawn darts? Now, when we were kids, the lawn darts were sharp, pointy, and actual, like a legit giant dart that could kill people. So we looked it up. You can't buy those anymore. What you can get is a set like this, and um, maybe I'll put a link below to this exact set. It was, uh, it was, I think, 20 bucks. Okay, comes with a little case to store it all in. Hakol, Hakol lawn darts, four darts included, carrying case, uh, two rings. Ah, that's a lawn dart now. Let me get some cutters. Take one of these out. That's a lawn dart nowadays. <laughs> I mean, actually, it feels like nicely made. It's plastic, but this is a rubbery portion on the end, and it feels like it's filled feels like it's filled with little rocks or sand or something so yeah nice heavy front i guess that's what you want the fins spin that's probably for uh probably to help uh guide it through the wind and i wonder how accurate these are so you get two red two blue and Oh, these are the rings. Oh, they're bigger. Okay. I'm guessing these are big enough. You can do 20, 30 feet away. I wish they weren't all like warped. Why wouldn't they just come already a circle? Do I, am I expected to, oh, untwist it? Yep. You gotta unplug it, untwist it one wrap around. <laughs> I guess it was easier to package and ship it this way. And then it's kind of more of a circle. Maybe we're gonna make our own type of thing one day, but let's just review this set. We can make our own thing where it's just a box or something you have to get it into. I'm assuming you hold here. And that's how you throw it. I'm guessing you're not throwing it maybe like a dart. It came with no instructions. I guess it's not a game that really needs instructions. Throw the dart into the circle. <laughs> maybe we can make up some other type of game with this where it's a course and you gotta... So what I'm guessing it is, is you got one ring on one side of the yard, one ring on the other, and two players, so you get red and blue. One player throws at this person's ring, this person throws at that person's ring. That way you don't have to do much walking. You can really just kind of toss them back and forth. Yeah, let's give it a try. I don't know if you can see this at all, but they don't glow in the dark. All right, that was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Yeah, I definitely do wanna make some other kind of boxes or something, so maybe a course, that would be fun. But let's uh, try packing this up and storing it in the storage bag. That it came with, this thing's real cheap and flimsy. 
it is what it is. A $20 toy, I mean, it's for kids. It's just the zipper. Man, it's one of them you feel like it's gonna break if you look at it too fast. I mean, of course, obviously everything fits. You're not gonna fit the ring in very nicely. Eh. And the next time you go to use it, I'm guessing it's gonna get all warped. Not a fan of the rings. It all fits. It all fits if you twist and bend the ring. <laughs> I guess that'll be nice and easy to store it somewhere. That's good. Overall, uh, I'd recommend it for the price it's at. 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, I'd recommend it. I'm sure there's nicer sets, but if you're just getting a toy for the kids to play with, it's fine. Uh, my only complaint is the rings. I mean, to really step it up a level, I'd expect to just make your own thing or, you know, it would be cool having a little kiddie pool or something. You can try to just get these in the pool or, or, or a bucket or some other way where if the rings are bothering you, because <laughs> they bothered me, um, yeah, I find something else to use, but the darts are nice. I like it. Um, if this helped you out, subscribe. We do all kind of backyard stuff. So if you're into that, and thanks for watching.